So guys, Nick of the Week. Um, this week we're going to go over something that we've done before, but I'm going to change it around a little bit. That's why I've just played what I've just played, because we did it about three lessons ago, where I sort of give you some techniques, sort of practicing kind of methods that you could do. If you remember that, and the sort of Zach Wall kind of... That kind of stuff. Uh, I think it was lesson 26, I think, something like that. Um, but basically, what I'm going to do is I've changed it around. Um, very dime baggish. Um, loads of guitarists have done it anyway. Doug Aldrich, that kind of stuff. Um, basically, all it is is hitting the root note and then just the other notes, just hammering and pulling off them. So if I go to, if I'm in, say, F sharp. I'm in F sharp, yeah? I'll get to that sort of Zach Wald scale that I was playing just with the... Yeah? It's going to sound a little bit like this. Yeah? And then you just bring it back up, so... Yeah, that kind of stuff. So literally, it's shred the crap out of it without picking really fast. You're just hitting the root notes. If you watch this, watch my picking hand. It's really easy. Yeah. So it's literally there's nothing to it. Um, same with that one that I did was um... yeah. So it's it's sort of an easier way of doing it. I've been teaching the people who've only been playing like a year, and you know they're cracking it already, doing stuff like working down the pentonic scale, that kind of stuff. So. Show you now. I'm gonna keep it in F sharp because it sounds cool, and um, I'll show you quickly. I've already shot it quickly, so I'm gonna show you slow now. <laughs> so basically, starting on the sixth fret. So seven, uh, six, seven, nine, and do that for the next A, D, and G. And then for B and E on the bottom fret, we're gonna five, seven, nine. So. Six seven nine six seven nine six seven nine five seven nine five seven nine. So from the start, hit the root note, and then we hammer on the next two notes. So, and then when you're on the pinky finger, you pull off. So. Turn up a little bit. All that kind of cool stuff. So literally just doing that and then swapping to the next string. So and just hitting their root notes and just bring it down. Do it slow first. I'll just go. Let's 
actually. <laughs> Yeah, and then what you can do then is you start mixing it around. So when I got to the bottom earlier, I did something like this. And all the different ways you can do it. So it's literally on the bottom, got five, seven, nine. And then pull back off. Uh, seven, pull off again, and then get to nine on B, and then back to the E again. So, and then just move it up. Yeah, so it's literally that easy to pull up, pull that off. So you just practice it slower first, and then mix it around, and. Um, with the other one that I did, they had and you just carry it on up. So if I'm just using that scale that I taught you the three lessons ago with Move it down to F sharp. Yeah. So all we're doing is same again. So we're pulling off from um, right, we're on five. Pulling off from four. Pulling off to four. Pulling the four off to the two, so and then pull off a hammer and pull off from the uh, four to two again. So and then we go into five on B and then back to the two on E again. So Sorry for it's a bit loud and using my um, APT head today, seeing as I'm in my new studio, uh, I just haven't got the computer set up in here yet, so literally I ain't been able to use the 11 rack, do anything, and I probably ain't going to be able to do it for the next two weeks, so it's literally going to be lick of the weeks and stuff like that, and little straight videos. Um, once I'm in here, um, I should have my new solo album finished within at least, well it'll be finished and hopefully I can get all the CDs and stuff like that all done and ready within a month and um, that'll be ready for you guys to have a listen to um, once I'm in here I'll get a single out probably within two weeks or something like that um, I'll let you all guys all know on a release date and everything like that uh, I'm really excited to show you everything, I've been on it now for ages obviously with building the studio and um, doing the album at the same time it's been a bit busy for me um, but I've loved every minute, minute of it and stuff like that, so it's going to be great. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the lesson this week, guys. Um, I'll have another one for you next week. Uh, a, bit, a couple of more videos, and hopefully I can get my computer set up in my studio and show you around, do a gear, gear video, all that kind of stuff. So I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.